This is a 1954 Chevy cab over engine, also known as a COE. The 10 foot long sheet metal bed was built to scale to the size of the cab. We used some custom mixed BASF RM colors that we call burgundy and bone. It's a tri-coat white and a deep burgundy, almost root beerish maroon on the bottom half of the truck. Billet aluminum inserts were machined in order to house the book matched Macassar ebony wooden inlays into the running boards. The rear fenders were completely handmade in order to house the dually 40 inch tall Toyos. We machined hood emblems that emulate the factory style 5700 logo that also have a little touch of modern display that we had put the 6.6 Duramax in along with the Allison transmission. The custom chassis that was built in order to handle the huge amount of torque that this thing makes with a big Garrett turbo is now an air ride, four link in the rear, and a dual control arm front suspension. The bumpers are all steel and completely handmade. Power adjustable and heated mirrors were built in order to get out around these wide dually fenders. This truck ends up being about four inches wider than a modern dually. The truck has huge military grade Willwood disc brakes all the way around. Using a modern LED 54 car taillight, we built sheet metal standoffs in order to have these period correct looking taillights mount to this fender in a way that GM might have done if they were building a fancy truck back in the day. KC highlights LED headlights help illuminate the road from the front. It's a bare bones period correct interior that we did our best to make rough around the edges but refined and have all the amenities that a modern truck would have. Everything is push button, electronic, digital, or somehow modernized to make this thing work really well for as long as you want to drive it. The bumper hitch receiver is hidden by a Pennsylvania classic tag. The electronically controlled pop-up gooseneck ball and Linex bed liner help make this truck truly usable. The truck has all the amenities of a modern truck, including heat, AC, power windows, so it really has everything you could ask for for comfort. Well, everything considering the passenger's balls are about 12 inches above a huge Garrett turbo. There are a lot of Camaros and Mustangs and hot rod trucks out there, but for this one we can truly say it's one of a kind. Ultimately, our goal was to build not a street rod, but a hot rod for truck guys.